Hey guys, Rodney. And I'm not an EFI expert, but I will tell you that I've been on the pages and I've seen a bunch of different people ask about the, the Aces stuff. And I've been lucky enough to install a couple of these. I got up in my own car, war machine, and we got a going in the new autocross truck, Cochise. We'll look at Cochise at another time. But I wanted to talk about the, the Aces stuff and something that I see a lot of guys talking about. So one of the things I've come across is that people are like, oh, I just did all the upgrade software and now my stuff doesn't start. So let me give you a, a tip before you get into anything on here. Um, these, to my understanding, what I was told, these are QC'd before they leave. They they already work together. They, 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 they're, they work. If you have to upgrade, only do it when they tell you to. And when you're working with somebody on the phone, he can dial in and upgrade you or whatever you want to do. But in general, you can pop one of these out of the box and make sure it works. And I'm going to show you how to do it real fast. It's super simple. You can see it kick on. It's not difficult. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to stick it on with a 7-inch, and we're going to see what it does. Hold on. Be right back. All right. So this is our jackpot. This is our Aces 7-inch screen. Let's open this up real quick. There you go, it's pretty. Woo! And then we're gonna open up the jackpot out of its box. And this is, like I said, this is going in our autocross truck, Cochise. We got an LS motor that, you know, we're disguising to look like an old school small block. And uh, let's pop this out. Look at the wire harness, I kind of lay everything out. That's why I have a little, I have a little uh, workstation table that I roll around. So we'll lay everything out, get an idea how it goes in the truck, and then I'll fire it up for you, just so you see what it takes to make them run. Once you get everything out of the box and lay it out, it looks kind of confusing, but we're gonna break it down, or I'm gonna try and break it down real simple, and give you a look at what it, everything is. So let me flip this camera around. All right, <clears throat> so we laid out the main harness. You'll get in the box and you'll see you'll have a whole bunch of harnesses whole bunch of extra harnesses but your main harness plugs into your computer you know and then you have you have your your uh, fuses don't need those I mean you're not worried about them you're not plugging anything you got your relay you're not worried about that one here's your can all right pretty simple can and that plugs in to your screen so literally just plugs in so let's take a second and we'll plug it in I'll try and do it one-handed here let's see I can do it. Oh man, I can't. Uh, all right, plugged in. And you actually flip your screen over. Just real quick. It's magnetic on the back side, but it does come with a couple screws in the box. So it clips right on just for testing, right? There we go. There's our screen. <clears throat> and as you start to come down, here's your fuel pump relay. Real nice. You don't have to do anything, just you can mount it to the wall. You can leave it loose hanging. I just usually tape them to it as I'm tucking everything away. Here's your first interesting bundle. It's called a loose wire bundle or an additional wire bundle. <coughs> and, and it looks like it's super confusing, right? You're just like, oh man, look at all this mess. Well, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> you probably won't run that or run this at all. Um, and my car... I only use one wire from this whole thing. I use the RPM signal or tack signal to run my Stuart Warner uh, well, uh, tachometer. That's it. So out of this whole bundle, I actually only use one wire and they're all labeled on there so they're pretty easy. V main, don't use it. Fan, you can run your fan relays on it. Two step retard. There's a bunch of different ones in here. Like I said, that's easy enough, and it just plugs into that first section. So, you know, that basically stays underneath the car. Then you come to your first set of plugs over here, and those are pretty easy. I mean, they're self-explanatory. Uh, this one says cam and crank. So you'll get, depending on if you're 24 or 48, or, I mean, what is it, 52, right? So I got my 24, and I have the two plugs on it. One goes to cam, and one goes to the crank sensor. It's pretty easy. You just plug it in there, and you move on. All right, and you got, here's your sensors. 
that one's pretty easy. It says it right here on the additional harness sensors. And there's there they are at the end. So you've got map sensor, IAT, and uh, uh, throttle position sensor. So that's that's easy enough. And you come off of there, and like I said, you got your you got your wideband O2s, they plug into those. Uh, your additions for left and right, so it says it right on there, so that's addition for two, four, six, and eight, and that, that'll be the, the odds on that side. Knock sensor, I don't use that. Oil pressure sensor, I dig that. I think right now you get a free oil pressure in some of these kits. Uh, fuel pressure sensor if you want, coolant temperature sensor. Pretty simple. So anyways, when you <coughs> crack all this open, before you do anything, you got these these couple loose wires right here. Undo them, take a look. This is honestly all the wires you'll need to, to fire this up. And one of them you won't even need, because you're going you know, to take a look at these, and they're labeled, right? So we got ground, ground, make it ground, power, and key power. So the orange one, fuel pump, we don't need it right now. So I'm going to drop it off to the side. I'm going to strip the rest of these wires. We're going to connect it to the battery that we're going to plug the computer in and we'll fire it up. It's really that easy. It's literally three, three wires. Three wires going to the battery. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why it's so difficult. And it needs to go to the battery. This, it has to go to the battery. These have to go to the battery. This works as a big surge protector. Just like at your house or even at your shop, right? I got a surge protector right here in the shop. Look at that. There's my wires off it, surge protector. Battery works like a surge protector. It's clean, it's not dirty, it's not being filtered for anything. You know, I use these Optimas because it has extra wire, I mean, extra mounts on the front. I can put my wires directly to that. So, you know, power and ground, and then you got power and ground that go to your, that go to your EFI. Super clean that way. All right, let me strip it down. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my wire stripped. There's a ground wire stripped and my power wire stripped. I just stuck them underneath the cap. Not doing anything spectacular there. And then there's the fuel pump one. I pushed it off the side, don't need it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ground wire. We're gonna simply hook it up to the battery, okay? And you'll see the computer, should see, should see the computer kick on and then should see the screen kick on. That means they're talking to each other and you'll see it come up with selections to to pick what it is like i said this is just straight out of the box wires are laying around everywhere nothing crazy i got out of the harness i have the first two wires going to the battery here's the second two wire here's the second single wire oh look at there kicked right on and it wants me to select the system well we know it's a jackpot so That's it. Hold on, I'll shut it off. We'll do it one more time. Ready? There he goes. System is talking. You don't have to upgrade anything. Nothing right away, so let's, let's, let me put a cap on here and hold this in place, and then we'll go ahead and look at the system. Okay, three wires, that's it. You have power. This is actually is a keyed wire, so this will go to your ignition. You turn the key on, that's what kicks everything on. Then your ground, three wires, that's it. Then you have this extra one here that runs your fuel pump. Cool, huh? All right, so there's our jackpot. Computer says it's on, we're talking. We'll select jackpot. Yeah, I know. Look at there. So let's back out of here real fast. Right there's your wizard. Here's your start wizard. So it's going to ask you. Well, we know. We know. We know that Cochise is going to be a 24 tooth. So we would pick 24 tooth. Okay. Cam type. You know, honestly, we're going to start with a stock. Usually you could pick mild or race. You guys shouldn't be doing that. Not unless you're ready to tune because here's what I've learned. If you pick mild or you pick race, 
what I have seen is that most cams other than factory require more fuel. This, these two tables already have more fuel in them. So if you're just getting your car started first time or whatever it is, go with stock. You can come back in here and tune it later. Don't try to do it all in one shot. Hit stock. Go to your next screen, okay? Really easy. Pick your map sensor that you're using. Uh, I, knew, I knew I'm using the 1041, which is gonna come with this kit. Uh, and they already selected it for me, which is cool. And then you go on from here. It's really that simple. It's that simple. It's three wires. Three wires to run it. One extra wire to run your fuel pump. And then you have the additional wire harness, like I showed you over here, right? It just plugs in and on the additional wire harness, look, you have your brake switch. I don't need that one. That's usually for your transmission stuff. Here's the only one I use on mine. I use a tack, tack out. That way I can use my Stuart Warner aftermarket tack. But you have, you have fans in here. I see fuel level in here. I know the fuel level, I did talk to them about that. That is not operational yet. But hey, man, you know, we're ahead of the game there. Fan, fuel level. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of different ones. Vehicle speed controls, step retard. Oh man, all kinds of cool stuff. Anyways, it's three wires. Can't be afraid of fuel injection. Look, it's three wires. Three. One, two, three. Makes everything run. And one for the fuel pump. That's it. Everything else is plug and play. Everything. Everything. So, check it right out of the box. Grab a battery. Hook your three wires up, make sure it talks. Don't do all your programming yet. Just make sure the talks, right? It's all working together. You don't no need for me to go on line upgrade. That's it. That's it. That's it. So it's Sunday. I got I got bars to finish welding on Cochise. I got a lot of car to build. And then this all goes in on that motor. Cool. Alright, bye guys.